I tell you what, the least shocking upset from this weekend has to be Kansas State beating Oklahoma. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we predicted this more than a year ago. In fact, let's roll back to like 2010. Man, Toy Story 3 made me cry like a bitch. Well, in 2012, Oklahoma's gonna be crying like a bitch. <laughs> oh, and they lose to K-State? Prediction? Man, Tim Duncan ahead of Keith Van Horn in the 1997 NBA draft? That's whack! You know what else is whack? 2012 Oklahoma against Kansas State. Unbreak my heart. Surge Cola. Man, even in 1980, we knew that Kansas State was gonna beat Oklahoma in 2012. I'm not even born yet, and I know that. Whack. Woo! Who stayed up late to watch that Arizona-Oregon game and Laugh like a Michigan man at that poor sap Rich Rodriguez. Yeah, he's three and one and his quarterback threw four picks in four games, not four plays. Four minutes, four seconds. Going to that, Michigan Notre Dame. Boy, Denard Robinson, you are a charitable organization. Notre Dame, I I'm gonna go ahead and state that as a football hipster, you can actually state that they're back because the thing will be to state that they're not back. In fact, they might be, but uh, reflexively you'd have to say that they are, but aren't. Also back. Florida State just dropped 49 in a 35 and left Brent Venables all cold and lonely in a by low parking lot. The fine for that will be around 660 yards of offense given up and about a million dollars for your defensive coordinator. Sorry about that, Dabo. LSU versus Auburn. What the f*** was that, Les Miles? Again, proving one, that you're mortal, and two, asking the question, is Zach Mettenberger the Caucasian Jordan Jefferson or is he the Hispanic Jarrett Lee? Les Miles. Fortune favors the bold and Rob Bolden. And for the ACC Conference Conference Play of the Week, oh, Orwin Smith from Georgia Tech. Come on down, don't, don't take a knee there. Yeah, I, I wanna point out number four here, never, ever, ever, ever listen to this guy. One knee in the end zone, one hand in bounds, and two points on the board. That, that's Georgia Tech football there. Bozo of the Week is gonna go to Mark D'Antonio, who will represent the entire Big Ten Conference on yet another appalling Saturday for the lonely, half-abandoned, going-out-of-business, big-and-tall men's store of college football. Coach D'Antonio, uh, what about losing to one of the worst teams in the MAC for most of the game before pulling it out against Eastern Michigan? Next question. What about Louisiana Tech pummeling Illinois by, you know, 30 points? No, next question. What about Central Michigan? The Chippewas beating Iowa? Affirmative, next question. And what about one of your flagship teams losing to Notre Dame? You. Next question. Oh, what about going toe-to-toe -to -toe with UTAP? Get bent. Next question. All those great questions, that's why you're the bozo of the week, Mark Antonio. Also in the ACC, the employee of the month of the week, Florida State's EJ Manuel. Yeah, man, I, I really like 380 yards passing, two TDs, 106 on the ground. This is either proof that EJ Manuel is far better than we thought he was, or that Clemson actually has 11 randomly programmed children's toys playing defense. Probably the latter. Woo, dumped at rankings for week four. Let's go ahead and get to number five, UCLA. Jim Mora team, started hot, end up cold. Who would have thought? Number four, Arkansas. Gary Nova, the most dangerous kind of cosmic explosion besides an actual star exploding or having John L. Smith as your interim coach. Number three, non-Mac teams. If you ain't Mac, you're smack, like the drug. I don't know which one. Number two, Washington State. Whoo, you lost to Colorado, son, and there's really nothing else I can say to this, you lost to Colorado. At number one in the depth at rankings, Oklahoma. How dare you sully? the live stream chat of Barry Switzer and Billy Sims. He got naked in hour three and nobody even noticed. Most beautiful thing we've ever seen. So beautiful. Boomer.